Hello everybody, welcome to another day of Albion Online. Today what we're going to quickly cover over is just some basic farming and how to build buildings and how to do that. So basic farming, I'm just going to do my daily farming here. I know I won't be able to push out too many videos because I'm quite busy today. So I do want to actually make sure that I do push out something for Albion Online so that people actually have the content on hand. So what we're going to do here is this may, you know, may or may not be a super exciting episode, but it will teach you some of the basics about Albion Online. Now, one of the first things that you're going to want to do is you do want to buy a pork pie if you're going to do any farming. Now, what it does is you see gathering yield by 15%. What gathering yield means is everything that you pick up from resources. So if I dismount here, right, and I'm going to eat my pork pie, it gives me 15% more yield. When I eat my pork pie, all it does... I know it's giving me a premium morning because I have three days left. If I pick up this right here, it only increases the 15% yield for here. Not for your sealed ga seed gain, just for your picking up crops. <clears throat> so here I get 15% more crops from getting. So instead I got 68 bundles of corn for picking all that up. So just, just a 15% more chance for a better uh, gathering and picking up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do my farming real quick. Uh, hopefully that explains why you eat a pork pie for gathering, because it does increase your yield by 15%. Alright, come over here, pop it open. And then let's come over here, let's farm these. Now I do a specific pattern right here, specifically to gather up. Now I know I did another farming video um, this one's just going to be covering just the basics because I did want to get something in. I did want to get my farm again so that you actually had uh, some content from me today because I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream another video for Albion Online or whatever I may or may not be able to stream today. And I'm also going to be creating normal content as well for Core Keeper because that's a fun game. I was playing it last night and uh, that is definitely only going to make a Let's Play episodes of that and see how far it goes. Now, I am still probably going to create Albion Online content. I don't know if we're going to keep premium or not. That still hasn't been fully decided. But we'll see as we go. Depends on if people... I get a lot of feedback and people actually leave comments and tell me they want more Albion Online content. Otherwise, I may switch to another game and play another game. So, we'll see how that goes. Sorry about that. I had to turn off some background noise there real quick. No, nope. kid was watching a show and I don't want to make sure that's in the background. Right, pig, pig, pigs. What I'm really concerned about here is I need to get this to 100. I'm almost at 100. I can almost plant cows. And then I can literally have more plots of cows and not have to worry about all the pigs. So, big, 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 big pigs. And then I still have to feed all the pigs. So all the profit you make right here is not going to be profit when you're planting so many pigs. So you plant all these pigs, right? And it's going to be 240 corn just to feed all the pigs. So if I come over here, I need 240 corn just to feed them. So I know I have 146 right there. Let's go in here. Let's put this in here. Let's split this to 240 ish, 240 corn. So this is my, this is all of what you eat. So you eat 97,000 just to feed your own pigs. Wait, no, more than 240. Ah, I can't do math. 18 plus 9. I can't do math. I don't know. I'm not going to do math right now. Math is hard right now. I can't think. My brain's still uh, focused on doing a bunch of tasks I need to do. And again, I just I'm just wanted to make a video and get it in here because there's a bunch of other things I need to do. 
when you don't do math for years and years and years, just even simple math, it kind of just doesn't come to you as quickly anymore. I mean, I know 9, nine, nine plus 9 is 18, but was it 27? 270. Man, I can't believe I'm just... Is it 270? That's how bad I am at math now. So bad. 9 times 3. 27, yeah, 270. Ah, oh, came to me when I wasn't even thinking about it. It just kind of just popped in my mind. All right, put the pigs there. We'll take our corn. We'll put this here. We'll put this here. <clears throat> Let's go slaughter these pigs. Nice Goodbye, pigs. Oh, I need to feed them. So here, here's the basics on farming. See right here? If they don't have enough food, they can't actually supply anything. So I'm actually going to give her some roast pork. I understand, so that I can come back here and do more Happy pig farming. Day, isn't it? Craft the rest. There we go. Now, I still need to feed her more food, so I probably should craft some more and give her some more. But it has to be craftable food. So I have... Uh, I know I have potato salad. I probably need to do more potatoes. But I do have a whole bunch of roast pork here. <clears throat> um... I'm going to feed her 45 roast pork for right now. My roast pork is, you know, 45 roast pork. You eat some of your profits here. It's 177K. <clears throat> but I want to make sure my butcher, I can still actually use my butcher. So he's going to give her 6% food so that I can actually use and actually craft that. All right. Now that we're done with this island, let's go move to the next one. Ready to leave? Let's move to, let's move to Bob's Island. <clears throat> and let's pick up and water my corn. Probably should have did the pigs, actually, honestly. I should have focused the pigs. But it's okay. We did one. We have enough extra pigs. And then you come over here and you replant all your corn. So each plot has a chance between, I think it's like 28,000 and 35,000 is normally what you get when you water it and everything. So that's the kind of profits you can make as long as you don't have to regrow or plant seeds. Now for one single seed, if I were to come over here and I were to split one seed, right? One seed is 20,000. So if you have to buy more than one seed, you already lost all your profits if you're just selling off your corn. So I'm over here not watering them correctly. I normally just skip one for time. You see right here, you can water all of them except for two unless you want to walk back and forth. I save time this way. So, yeah, literally 20, and I actually more than 20, I think it's like 22,000 if you were to just buy it from the market instead of buying it from the auction house. But you can see right here, you, you see how I made less profits, not even 60,000? So you have to estimate because it really, it goes up and down and fluctuates between what you gather and what you actually pick up. this and then I just do my pattern so we pick all those up so those four plus the three so you can water seven pots really quickly those last two I just leave because it just takes too much time to walk in back and forth and I'm trying to save time here <clears throat> plus I have a lot of different farm spots so I'm gonna use all my focus but we're just not gonna water the last two so I don't have to walk back and forth it's all about time saver when you have so many plots, for me personally. Now, I could still water the other two, so I can come over here and I can water this. But watch watch the time it takes to walk this way. So if I walk this way and water this one, and I walk this way and water this one, that's time. <clears throat> that's time I can spend doing other things. So that's why I just do this pattern and grab all these, <clears throat> and then I just place it, and then I water them real quick. <clears throat> now for four plots of land if you're wondering what the profits are we'll look now this fluctuates up and down 123k now it could be 150k depends on if you water them this 123k is because i didn't water any of these plots i focused my pigs so if you were doing non premium <clears throat> and you didn't water any of your corn your yield with a pork pie is still 123 basic profit but the profit's not there because you lose 
9%, around 9% of your corn seed would not come back to you. So you would have to rebuy corn. So honestly, you would cut this in half or more of what your profit would be. So you'd only make about 50, 60K at most if you're not watering your corn at all, based on my level. And it fluctuates and it changes. Get on. So if you're looking at how much profits you can make if you just were not premium, it is significantly less, right? But here I water my corn so you can make profits. Now, none of these also are not watered either. So you'll see the plots from a four plot one, and this is going to be a five plot one. And we add it together and then you'll see the total profits of those two islands just from the corn alone. Again, I didn't water any of these. None of these plots are watered because I purposely used all my focus points last yesterday for pigs. Now, let's see what the profits are. Just 216k. It is definitely more when you water them. This I know for sure. And usually it would be like 150k. But like 30k less just because you didn't water them. And just the corn yield and what you're harvesting. So, profits are definitely eaten in. When you don't water your corn. <clears throat> Let's go. Right now we need to move to our islands in Thetford. So let's come over here. Let's drop up all this stuff right here. Just 280k in corn. Of what we got from all that. We'll put it all in there. We'll put the seed in here. We'll put the worms in there. Now we are getting a little bit heavy there. So we will want to buy probably more cow's milk to make more roast pork at some point. But we'll come back for that since the chest still fits it all. Now I have to unfaction flag because I still have islands in Thetford that I cannot move because I do not own those accounts, but I have access to them. <coughs> and those are the ones where I'm growing uh, potatoes and cabbage, the little that. Then I'm also still growing corn. And then we'll teach you some building in there because I do want to actually level up the chef's building. And we'll show you how to upgrade and level up those buildings on another one of these islands, which I have full access to, but I don't have access to the account to move the island to an actual another location. So, but I did get to move my other island to Fort Sterling, which was really nice. I moved it the old fashioned way before they gave us this free move, which I'm kind of sad because you could have literally have placed a whole bunch of items in your island and then moved the whole island over. Which would have been nice, but oh well. Hello, Brandor Sniper. Brandora Sniper. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. 
figured I wanted to get at least one stream in before everything else comes in. Now, these are not watered either. You can see right here. I got 43,000. But I have to eat up my profits because I got to buy two seeds to replant. Again, these cabbages are not watered. For 43,000 minus 20,000 in seeds. So I have to buy two cabbages, which is going to be 20,000. So I only made a 23,000 profit if I were to sell all the cabbages, just plain sell them. But then I lost 20,000 just right there. Yeah, I'm just teaching basic at farming. <clears throat> and then we'll teach some basic buildings. See, I can't water any of that. But I still made a 43, so 23,000 in that one. Let's see how much this, this one gives. So these are potatoes. Again, these are not watered. Now I have to buy one potato seed at least. And I got 35,000. So I minus the one seed I have to buy. So I have to buy at least one seed, right? So one seed is going to be 15,000. So I just make only 20,000 on that if I were to just sell all the potatoes. So again, these are not water, just like I'm planting right here. And the only reason I get even a good enough wood yield is because I have a pork pie with the, pork pie with the extra 15% gather yield. So it's totally worth that extra 15%, uh, which only costs you 5,000 to buy the pork pie to get everything. I have played Albion on PC single play. Uh, that was for roguelike or something, Storm Lord. <laughs> yeah, Albion Online is definitely. Definitely an interesting game. I enjoy it every now and then. I come back every now and then and play it. <clears throat> I'm still deciding on if I'm going to go another 30 day premium or, or let it fizzle and then just keep farming and stuff in there or just play without premium. <clears throat> we'll see. Anyways, corn yield without watering, 33,000. So that's not bad. Now, I had 17 seeds to begin with. I know I should probably split these seeds off somewhere else. Just so you can see exactly how many seeds you get back. So right there, I lost two seeds. So the cost right there for two seeds, I literally made no profit. 33000 So I come over here and look at corn seeds. If I had to buy two, that's 45000 I got negative. I didn't make any profit. I lost profit on all those corns. And remember, it's all chance. Sometimes you make profit, sometimes you make no profit. All right, let me... I wonder if I can put the seeds someplace to make it easier. There. Leave one corn seed there. Now we'll know. There we go. Now we'll know if we lose any seeds. So right there, we got all the seeds back, so that's good. I share your our content. You are mega cool. Thank you! <clears throat> Thank you for sharing and spreading the word. It definitely helps out. So that one would have been profit, right? So 63,000. A uh, good game as well. Okay, so I lost one seed. So that's 22,000 or 22.5 thousand that you lost. Right there, see? Now I need just one more seed. See if we lose any more seeds. Okay, I lost another seed on that one. So that's another 22.5 thousand you have to spend on silver to buy. <clears throat> Again, I'm not watering these. Because I don't have any more focus points. But I am doing these just to level up corn, because you saw my corn just level up. I'm already 88 corn. It takes a long time to get to 100. I didn't check to see if I lost more seats on that one, but... And there we go. Farming is now done. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do here is I need to come over here to the cook station. And I need to upgrade this station because I believe this station is only a tier five and I need to get it to a tier seven, I believe, a tier seven station to be able to cook and make uh, potatoes. 
So, what I need to do here, and I'm going to remember how to even do this. I need to come over here. I need to upgrade it. Okay, so I'm going to need... I'm just going to take a picture. I should take a picture. 300 of these slate tier 6s. Okay, let's begin that. This is going to be expensive. It's going to cost me a little bit of money. But for the purpose of teaching everybody, because I do want to make potato salads and whatnot. So I need 300 of those, plus I need the stone and everything else. So let's come over here. <clears throat> let's go back to Thetford. Get the stream powwow. Thanks for being so excited there, Brander Sniper. Alright, so I need slate stones. <clears throat> or slate blocks. What were they? Slate blocks? Yeah, I needed 300 of these. That's going to be 300k. So I literally need 300 of these. That's 329k just for that alone. And then I needed the tier 1 blocks and everything else. So I needed a... Uh, uh, I think I needed stone. <clears throat> I think I needed tier 1. Rough stone. Let's buy... Let's buy a bunch of this. I don't even know how much I need. Nobody's selling that much rough stone. And then I need logs. Oh, I'll buy like 169 of that. Okay. This should be enough-ish to build what I need to build. <clears throat> Maybe. We'll find out. Then we'll go over there and we'll fill this up. So I'm going to go back to Worshi's Island. We're going to go see if we can upgrade that station so we can make some potato salad. Hello, Death Mom. Welcome. <clears throat> so come back over here to the cook station we'll click on him we'll click on the upgrade button and then we fill up 300 stone right there and we have 80 of this and then I need 800 logs okay I need a lot many more logs so let's go get some more rough logs 800 wow I should have memorized that number so we'll go back to Thetford. Let's go some, buy some more logs, and then we can upgrade that station so we can make potato salad. That's the basics of building. And you can see right here, it's very expensive to do building and to do all these different things. So rough logs. I'm going to need all 800. I'm just going to buy them all. <clears throat> That's probably good. I'm going to buy another, lo another set just because. And then we're going to get some stone too just because. There's the biggest stack. 21, I uh, just buy it. I'm going to buy all this too. Uh, 24, good. Okay, now we got some rough stone. Good to go. <clears throat> Let's go finish that building. I think we still need to do one more upgrade. So it's probably going to cost me close to a million just to upgrade it to a tier 7, if not more. But I want to be able to make potato salad. <clears throat> okay, now we come back to the station. You can see right here there's an upgrade. We're going to do all 800. Why is it Why is it being silly? What's going on? Okay, we'll just do it from here. Okay, now it is upgraded. Oh, I can make potato salad. I don't have to go one more. I can make my potato salad now. So... I'm going to literally make my potatoes with my potato salad right here. And... Okay. There we go. And that's the basic upgrading. Now, if you wanted to build two, uh, this, this island already has almost all the different stations because we filled it out. I was helping to build all these different things. Uh, they have a butcher. They have a smith. And now we have a tier six cook and all these other things. And so if you wanted to upgrade more... I, more I, uh, more stations you'd come over here and see their upgrade is already in process and you just have to fill in all the different pieces and then it upgrades it to the next station now building tier ones and tier twos of all the different stations is not bad but you can see it's it is very expensive to do building and farming and it costs money but eventually once you get to a point you can make some profit off of it now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go back i'm going to go back to thetford 
And the main reason I'm going to go to Thetford is I have a ton of items in the bank that I need to go claim. Because at some point I was playing with my brothers. I got a power core and I went and I hit this, the button that I didn't know. And I basically retrieved all my items out of it, which is about 3 million worth of items. Which I believe I can now finally recover them. All right, it's going to cost me 1.38 million to pull all this out of the bank. So, um, yeah, maybe. Do I want to do that? I guess I do. I have my ox on me, so I can carry a lot of it. We'll just we'll retrieve all the items. Um, 1.3. This is going to bring me down below the 40 million mark. But we're going to retrieve it all. We're going to pay for it. Okay. Now it's all dumped in my bank. And then let's sort it all out. Okay. There we go. Now I just got a bunch of, a bunch of stuff I got to sell. I know I had a bunch of other stuff in there. I'm just going to sell it all off. What is this? Huh. I don't know. Sell it. <clears throat> and a bunch of other things to sell too. I can't even use these tier 8 items. But we're going to sell them off. Try to recuperate some of our losses. <clears throat> I'll just come over here to Thetford and sell it all off. That's what happens when you accidentally push the wrong button in the black zone in your hideout. Because I didn't know. It was my first time. And I recovered all these items, which I should not have done. But it did. Alright, sell all these things off. Hopefully they sell. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Recuperate some of our losses. These are the other items that were actually in my bank because I was sorting it. Thetford is where I started off with. But I'm going to sell everything off because my main house, my main island, is in Fort Sterling. So we'll sell all this off. Hopefully you're able to get in and actually see some of the building. This video will be cut a little bit. Uh, I won't be able to stream super long. Uh, a lot of work i got to do and there's a lot of things I actually have to take care of. <clears throat> but I did want to get a stream in today. And at least show the basics of what I do daily. My farming. How much profits you can possibly make for watered and not watered farming. And then how to upgrade buildings. And building buildings, you just have to basically hit the H key and then build it <clears throat> in the plot that you want. And then you have to supply it. And then you also, for stations as well, I showed how to feed your actual workstations so that you can actually craft and build. <clears throat> so a lot of money gets dumped into just building anything because you got to... First, you got to find the materials to build it, and then you have to go and feed the station, and then you have to spend whatever materials it takes to actually keep going. Now, we're going to keep our corn seed. I'm definitely not selling my corn. I'm not going to sell my potato salad either. We'll sell off our rough logs. We'll sell off more our stone. Uh, we'll keep the earthworms because we can still craft with earthworms. Potatoes, and then these other rough logs, we'll sell these off too. And there we go. <coughs> Okay, let me go dump all this back at, um, actually do I want to craft more potato salad. So let's do that. Let's grab the worms and the other potatoes. So I'm going to go back to Ace G's Island. We'll grab the rest of the potatoes, the rest of the cabbages. We'll create some more potato salad. All right, 47,000 for that. What's up, legendary gamers? Uh, we're going to grab our cabbages and our potatoes and our worms. We're going to put a corn here. We'll put a corn seed back. And we're going to go craft all this with the level 6 station that we just built. Looking so we'll come back over here. We'll come back to Worshi's Island. We just upgraded and we just built this tier 6 work master's cook station. I'm doing good. It's just been very busy. So I had to work yesterday, and now I have to even do more work today and a bunch of other things. So 
I think we're going to craft uh, level tier 3 ones of these. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to craft all 80 of these. <clears throat> That's the whole reason why we upgraded this station. It costed me almost 400000 to upgrade this to a tier 6. So hopefully we can make some of the profits back. Ish. 171, 126. So once this is done, you don't technically make a ton of profit doing that, but uh, what's the cook? He's at 8% food. Okay, so he's still good. <laughs> yeah, you have to eat food in the game. Well, you eat food to do different things. What? <clears throat> oh. Uh, let's go to Thetford. Let's <clears> go. <throat> Am I still carrying my corn? Yeah, we'll just sell it all. Trying to make our profit. This island, is, I just wanted to level up my salad crafting everything. Didn't actually need the, the salad for it. Uh, I do want to start selling off a lot of these other things. Because I know I have a ton of items in here. I want to kind of just move it over to Fort Sterling. So we'll sell this off. I kind of want to... I don't need the riding horses. Uh, maybe these. Actually, I maybe need those for when I go back in. We'll sell these things off. Sell these things off. Mm. Sell off the tier threes because I don't need tier threes anymore. I'm at tier four. I have some more bean salad here. Sell this off. All right. All these kind of should go in. This is for my going back into Black Zone. So we'll, we'll hold on to a lot of these items for uh, Black Zone content. And we'll bring it back in. But all the rest of the stuff we can sell off. Hmm. Only one handy hi hi, so him. Hey, hi, Xera. Welcome. Welcome all that came and, and watching. We're just doing the simple basic things that I don't normally showcase because. I don't know if people find it interesting or not, but Welcome I figured friend. show you what my daily-ish kind of routine is. We'll sell these off at fifty-three thousand. Sell this corn off. Sell the cat. Well, we'll keep our cabbages and corn because we can make more stuff with it. Sell off the axe. We. I'm gonna sell off the potato salad. We'll sell off the journeyman horse. Sell off all these things. Repair this thing. Sell all these items off. Away it goes. Well, hopefully we recover the 40 million that I spent. I'm gonna have to, I'll recover back to 40 million. Okay, now we can put our cabbages and everything back. We still have items in Thetford. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind running it over to Fort Sterling, honestly. We'll see. We'll see what we do. We'll think about that some more. HG Wizard. Come here. We're dumping our potatoes and cabbages. Potatoes and cabbages. Save that there for now. And oop, no, I wanted to throw my cow in there. Goodbye, cow. Or bull, ox, whatever you want to call it. Now we'll go back to my main island. Pick up all my gear. I don't know why this doesn't sort the way I would be used to. And then put all those other things in here. I need to buy more invisibility potions, it looks like. So we'll restock in invisibility potions, get nine of those. And that's my daily routine. Now, always, always remember, if you're going to unfaction flag, to go back and faction flag. That's always something I forget to do. So I'm just reminding people, if you ever have islands in multiple locations, you have to unfaction flag. Don't forget to faction flag, because... It's a big deal when you're running around. All of a sudden, you try to do content that requires be a faction flag, and you're not. 
So now I'm back in flag. Now I just need to go buy invisibility potions. these 114k right there put this right here and now we're literally a whole million under than what we need to be we want to be back at 40 million so <clears throat> we'll do a quick run here i don't have a ton of time so we'll try to get in what we can i zoomed in so much all right <clears throat> we'll see if we can hit any chests See if we can make a quick quick buck here. Let's wear this gear. Okay, there's a there's a, a guy, but no chest. We run in the middle. We'll see if there's a boss in the middle. As you can see, farming is expensive. Like if I were to upgrade more buildings and do more crafting and more things like that, instead of your money going up, your money goes down to begin with, right? So doing all these different actions costs them. See, there's no boss in the middle, so that's fine. We're going to go down here. Now, there is a different thing I want to change here. So if people have watched my rotation, I actually learned that there's a better rotation. Instead of going down this path, it's actually better to go northeast in the southern one right here. Now, this is a better path to take because when you come over here, you don't run into the same type of mobs that can beat you if you're just trying to run through it fast. You still run into these ghouls, right? I need a pork pie right now, or roast pork. But the mobs that I'm talking about that makes it a lot harder, it's not this one. Run out and dodge those on purpose. I'm not gonna be a dodge because I don't have any more speed, that's fine. But you see, the north one is a little bit better because of this mob right here. So this mob right here is not, these are not hard to beat. There's no archers in it. And that mob's also easy to beat compared to the mob right here is different. So if you're trying to save yourself time, see how that mob's a lot easier? So you run into a lesser mob. So now you can walk down this way and you can check all the chests. And then you can still pick up these ones without the archers. Because you see how the ghouls, I know those archers aggro because they didn't walk down that path. Well, we're checking to see if there's any boss there, no boss there, and there's no chest. So that's fine. We'll go down here. Now we'll make our way northeast. <clears throat> there's a chest right there in the middle. We're going to go grab it as best we can. So we're going to tag these guys right here. And let them hit us a little bit. Keep running, keep running. Now we're going to sprint now. We're going to tag these guys, and we're going to tag the boss. These archers, then we're not going to be... It's going to cloak it. But we're going to kill the wizard, at least. Because he's a part of the mob. So I'm going to focus down the wizard as best I can before I cloak it. Get cloaked, that's fine. We're going to stand in this corner over here. There's one more wizard and the archer that's linked to it. <clears throat> now there is a player coming, so we have to be a little cautious. We're going to switch to our main gear so that we can actually clear it. We have seven seconds. Now we have to out damage them doing to the wizard as well as the other guy. So I know I grabbed one other guy, but I have all of this. So I'm going to... Unless he's purposely trying to make me grab a ton of aggro, which he's doing. <clears throat> Looks like. That's fine. He's trying to make me waste an invisibility potion or something, but what he doesn't realize is that many of these mobs I did take out. Now, he's still going to go for the boss. That's fine. I'm going to cloak this right here. And if he still got the chest, I'd be impressed. He didn't. 
so I damaged him. So, he was purposely trying to get me to drop. But it didn't work. That's what some people do. They grab a bunch of mobs and they're like, oh, let's just force him to see if we can find them all. And I did. <laughs> I'm just fighting this guy because I wanted to pick up whatever the loot was in case it was a book. Okay, now that we did that, we'll switch to this one so we can run. And we're gonna go see. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if we can find one more chest. I got a little under 10 more minutes, so. Let's see what we can do in 10 minutes. See if we can get one or two more chests, if we're lucky. Okay, I don't see anything over there. We'll walk to this over here. I don't see any that way. So we're just going to go back. We're going to go the other way. Sprint it. Oh, yeah, sprint's already up. Now, I know the guy walked back this way, but it's no big deal. We'll see what we can get. Oh, there's a boss there. But can we get him before somebody else? We're just sprinting now. That's not good. We're going to tag that, I guarantee. We're going to hit him all with this. We're going to heal up with this. I'm gonna keep going. Hit the R key now. Oh, somebody already beat the boss. Not there anymore. But they left them free loot. Well, it's going to take me too long to walk all the way over again, so we're going to A key out. We're going to check the outside of the map, and we'll just end it uh, when we can. So if you enjoyed this content, please feel free to smash the like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. If you have not already subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, that's okay as well. Come back once a week, once a month. Check out what content I have. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. And uh, you all have... A wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna come over here, right outside the right outside the castle. Put back on my normal gear, and we're gonna call right here. And I have to go do a whole bunch of in reality work and stuff. So we'll catch you all in the next episode. Thank you all for being here. Have a good one.